Run the tuba. Well, guys, here we are at Hyperdrive, the kart racing center. And um, yeah, today we are a karting in real life for a change. So uh, basically, the uh, video is going to consist of three races. I did three races today. Um, it's uh, race one, two, and three, obviously. No qualifying, no real nothing. Um, I think there's about eight laps a race. And uh, the races aren't really for position, they're who can get the best time. So it's really about not fighting for position too much because then you lose time. So here in the background as you can see, the cart, they actually extended the track to an outdoor circuit as we see through the roller door here. And uh, it's pretty cool, uh, never really raced uh, here before, especially on the outdoor circuit. So, um, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully we do alright. But, um, yeah. So, guys, I believe our first race was 11.51. So, waiting for that was pretty exciting. And, uh, yeah, so there I am. Just chilling, waiting for the race. And there we are, all suited up, ready for the race. Got the gloves on and everything. Race 1 is about to commence. Um, so yeah, I'm basically going to talk you through how I felt. Now guys, I'm very sorry for the footage. Now, pretty awful footage. There's me in the grey, just so you know who I am. Um, yeah, it's pretty awful footage, I'm not going to lie. Definitely have to bring a GoPro next time to strap to me. Um, because, yeah, it's not the best. You're going to have to try and watch me, try and track me. I'm going to try and tell you how I felt during the race. So here I am. Um, not the first one, but the second one here, the f second of the greys. Uh, unfortunately, the girl in front had a grey uh, shirt on as well, so it's hard, gonna be hard to um, see. So um, anyway, this is gonna be the first race. Um, never really like felt what it's like to be in one of these things before, um, so it's gonna be interesting. So basically, this is the outlap. The start finish line was on the back straight outside as you saw, so there goes someone on the shifter cart um, on their outlap. But here we go, we're going to start speeding up now. We are sort of at crawling pace to begin the race, but we start to speed up. So here we go, up the ramp, into the outdoor section. Pretty cool section this, flat out. I didn't really know it was flat out until about the second race. Um, pretty interesting, I sort of lifted off a bit there. But down the back straight, which is the... Uh, thing we have a little look on the outside didn't really need to as I said uh, it was more for uh, Time uh, I was kind of just trying to get in front of this person to get some clean air That's basically what I was trying to do at the start of the race here Just learning the circuit learning how the cart behaves learning the tire grip the tire wear and um, Yeah, you have to be smart about where you are on the track. You don't want to be held up too much otherwise you know you don't have a good lap and in the first race I was kind of in this little group of people so I couldn't really get past um, them much I think I did end up getting past them a little later on in the race but yeah it was quite hard as we there as we see though we go up on the inside of that person now we have a bit of clean air but they do fight for the position they actually send it down the inside almost spinning out but um, yeah unfortunately as I said, we are still in this little group of people, so we are the second cart in this group there. There we go, around the hairpin. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, leaderboard, my dad was actually racing in this. Lee Wilson, I'm obviously Ryan Wilson, and uh, it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun just to learn how the cart behaves on the first race. Not anything crazy. I didn't really care for that time in the first race. Uh, but, yeah, it was just fighting for clean air, really. That's basically, but I do get actually the move done there as the card in front spun. So we are now leading this little pack. And um, this guy behind me was actually breaking extremely late. I couldn't quite tell what he was going to do. It was quite unpredictable. But we do sort of break away there as we go up the ramp now down to the outside. So we do have some clean air. Now we have a good start to this lap. So checkered flags are here I think just on the side you can't quite see them now out of shot but there we go and uh, the cart behind me was a shifter cart 
Now he was incredibly fast. As you see, as you see there, give me a nudge. I didn't actually see him because you can't really turn your head all the way in these carts, and there's obviously no mirrors, so you have to really rely on sound um, and instinct to let someone pass. As, as uh, people have a little stack there, but yeah, it was good fun the first race. Then um, yeah, really all we had to do was. Um, yeah, try not to push too hard, see how the car felt, as I said before. And, um, yeah, nothing much to this first race. The second race was much better, I have to say. That was probably the best race out of all of them. But there we go, down into the outside section once again. I've got someone on my tail, just trying to hold them off. Now, I didn't realise in this first race that there was a boost patch as well. So it almost acts like an overtake button, uh, like in Formula 1. So basically... On the, on the indoor circuit, which we are about to enter, um, there is a boost patch where you run extremely wide, compromise your exit, but you do get a boost patch, which allows you to have boost for 10 seconds during the space of two laps. Now, here, right there where I just went through, is the boost patch, but I never got it because, as I said, it's right up against the barrier. You almost have to hit the barrier to get it. And uh, I didn't actually know it was there. It was quite out of the way to see when you're racing. And I knew there was one. I just didn't know where. So all these guys behind me have boost. And I don't. So that's why they're getting like an extra 10Ks faster than I am. But there we go. Have a look up on the inside there. We actually go three wide. But I get held up here. Now the reason is I held back. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get some clean air. And this whole race... My balaclava kept going up over my left eye. So there, I reached for it, as you see there. I reached for my balaclava, pulling it down. It was so annoying because I, had, I was driving with one eye, basically. I was closing my left one because it was just covering it. And I had to keep, uh, for the entirety of this race, uh, the second half of it, really, I just had to keep pulling it down. So not through the corners, but on the straights, I had to try and pull it down quickly. But it didn't help, it would just uh, spring back up onto my left eye, so uh, that's why I held back there a bit. Probably a good thing as well, because we do get some clean air again. But again, having someone on your tail does put some pressure on to keep the position, and to, um, yeah, and to like not crash, not have a stack. So, yeah, they have boost behind me once again, doing alright to hold them off, um, but yeah, it... It wasn't the best race, really, but as I said, first one of the day, getting used to how the carts felt. felt. Uh, these are, by the way, in the adult carts, so uh, looking pretty good, as you can see. Uh, we're four, group of four, just side by side there. Can't quite see yet. I'm, I'm sorry about the camera, guys. These are just like the footage that Hyperdrive gave us, so... Yeah, hopefully um, it's alright, it will do the job. I remember for next time to bring a GoPro uh, to stick on my helmet or something. Uh, it does look much, it is much faster. I know it looks like we're going so slow in the cuts. But there we go, that's race one done for the day. Squabbling over position to go into the pits for some reason. But um, yeah, it wasn't the best. Our best lap was a um, 55.06. Dad's best lap was a 48-1. So, Dad's actually done some karting before in the past. So, he knows a little bit more about real life and the physical aspect of racing. But, um, yeah, this is the race that uh, we are. So, basically, same outfit. Fox gloves. Got the grey jumper on. Um, but, yeah, just so you know. Hopefully, you guys can try and find me. I'm basically behind this guy... Uh, in front who has a tan jumper on just so you know as for reference for most of the race I'm behind him so um yeah so second race start finish line just the out lap now so just taking it easy getting used to the car we did have like a 30 minute break between race one and race two so um yeah having to refill but uh regain my knowledge from last race but yeah uh, hop back in the cart and it feels good. Doesn't feel, you know, I feel like I've, I've known a bit more now about the track. I've learnt a bit more about it from race one. As I said, race one wasn't going to be much. Just learning, really, and um, seeing how, how everything worked. So race two now 
and we go by down into this little chicane which is quite tight in real life I'm not gonna lie but um, yeah so as I said uh, star uh, uh, sorry end of race one uh, the carts look so slow on camera and they are not in real life when you are in one of these things it feels like you're going 200 kilometers an hour like along this straight as well it, it's it's oh geez and my dad is actually behind me in this one as well uh, there he is in the green and white hoodie there so he's behind me uh, I'm getting held up by this guy in front and we're all kind of just squabbling for the for the same position really and uh, there's now five carts uh, uh, one after the other that um, I get overtaken I think no I keep the call I keep it that guy actually went for boost now did you see how wide he had to go for boost now my dad overtakes me but then there's a stack someone runs into my dad my dad somehow just gets past all of us and uh, he gets the clean air so that's basically what we were all fighting for the clean air to get the best lap unfortunately I'm still stuck behind this guy in the tan jumper so I didn't really get much out of that but um, hopefully we can get him shortly uh, so my dad just leading the pack here there's me third in the pack and uh, you know we're just trying to uh, trying to see I actually had a few looks at this guy as you saw went on the inside but I thought I'd just pull out because not quite safe to uh, send it up on the inside really but um, I think we have a fight through here on the inside uh, but I just have to let him go I think so um, yeah it's uh, it's always good fun karting it's great squabbling for position um, yeah as I said though it's for time so best clean air my dad overtaking the duo cart there me still behind the guy in the tan jumper going up to the ramp um, now down into the outdoor that part is so fun that part is ex that's one of the favorite parts of the track really and there we go three almost four wide with all three of us overtaking and I get the inside line getting the clean air so now I'm leading this little group of people these guys squabbling behind me to get um, the position and um, yeah it was it was felt nice to get that overtake under braking on the back straight someone stacking it into the barrier there but um, there's my dad there, who has all the clean air in the world. That is definitely the spot you want to be. Um, but there is now four laps remaining, and we are, we're doing well to sort of keep up with the pace, I think. We have a guy in the black hoodie just trying to overtake me where he can, but I, he did have boost as well. I, I somehow held him off, I don't know how. But really, I was just trying to be consistent with my driving. My driving was very consistent throughout the whole day. Didn't really have a spin, didn't really have a stack, didn't really have a crash or a bump against the wall. So I'm, I'm happy with how that went. It sort of just goes to show how uh, consistency is really important throughout these sort of races. But uh, yeah, so that guy actually tried to spin me around there. And um, I get did get a little tap, I did feel that one afterwards. Now there is my dad, if you see that person right on the corner, my dad has spun. And um, when you spin, when the, it's like a safety car thing, so the safety car activates, slows all the carts down to walking pace. There's me putting my hand up at Tad because I was on quite a good lap and he has just ruined that for me because we had to get slowed down. Um, so yeah, that's pretty clever how they do that, slowing all the cars down to walking pace when someone crashes just for safety reasons. But um, yeah, was, that could have been the bit lap I could have done. Um, but I felt like I had more in me. I felt like I've learnt the track well, holding this guy off, um, and really having this guy behind me helped me sort of, um, you know, pa push more. Even though he overtook me there, I, I didn't mind because I still had someone behind me and it helped me sort of push. And now I had someone in front of me, helped me sort of to gain momentum. Even though these guys aren't the best, I'm not really the best either. But um, it's just a bit of fun here. So now we come through the uh, really quick. It's extremely fast through there in real life. When you're in these carts, man, it um, oh, it's so fast. But yeah, on camera it doesn't really show it justice. But um, yeah, so that was a 52-1-1. So that's 
Still not the best, but I had a lot more pace. As you can see, going much faster through this little chicane than I did last lap. Uh, that's because I didn't really have anyone challenging me for my position. I did, but I was sort of breaking away from him quickly. I was sort of catching up to the guy in front as well. So that's always uh, nice. So there we go, coming through there. Having a tiny weeny moment, but nothing too major to slow me down. Because I was unstoppable through here. And um, this guy behind me started to sort of catch up. But this was the lap. I felt this lap. It was a good lap for me. Um, as we go down into the outside section. But um, yeah, I still felt like I had more in me, to be honest. So that lap was a 49.7. And I, I, you know, we don't know the lap time uh, when we race, but I did feel like, you know, I've done well with that lap. I felt like, you know, I've done it, you know, put ourselves in a good position. But this lap was probably even better. I just had the pace. I had the cart. Now, the cart is a big difference in, um, in this. Now, we don't have the same carts throughout the whole day. Uh, race one, I had number four. This race, I had number three. Number three... Is uh, a great cart, really suited my driving style, the pedals and everything, just the steering really suited me. Um, so yeah, uh, cart, because some of the carts are like, the front bumpers are just going off on them there. I go side by side with the duo cart there, getting a nice late braking action. A guy behind me just sends it up on the duo cart, but um, yeah, making that look pretty nice. So that lap was a 49.2, so beating it, beating my um, previous lap by about 5 tenths. So, you know, that felt good. Um, I believe this lap wasn't really the best. I think this was actually the in lap. But, um, yeah, I felt, I felt happy, felt accomplished there. As you can see, the pits are now opening for the end of the race. So that was race two, squabbling for position again into the pits. I don't understand why, but I just let him go. But um, yeah, I felt great after that race. I felt like, you know, I've, I'm learning now. I've got it down. Um, there's the leaderboard. So me beating Dad this time, I'm P4, 49-2, uh, 49-5. So now race three. Now race three wasn't the best because... I ended up starting, uh, well there I am there, in the grey, just so you know, uh, but I ended up starting second last. So they give you a random cart number in the helmet room and we sit in the carts, you find our cart number, we sit in it and I was second last out of the whole pack. So yeah it was good, I had some clean air, but at the same time it wasn't because my cart, my cart was just... It wasn't working, so on this outlap, um, you know, I thought, oh, the steering. The steering felt really tight, like it just didn't steer unless, you know, you yanked on the wheel. And I just thought, oh yeah, just that's just because I'm going slow, right? You know, that's because I'm going slow as we get the overtake on the blue, but uh, the black overtakes us. So now we are in the middle of this little pack, just so you guys know. But, um... Yeah, it was it was extremely weird because the steering was very tight and the accelerator pedal was very loose. So as soon as I put the accelerator on, it would just burst through. And then as soon as I try to steer, it would like tighten up really weird and I'd have all these weird drifts and lockups. So you can't really see it too well on camera, but um, yeah, I just didn't have the cart. So this cart number was number... Uh, six I believe cart number six and um yeah I think it was also in race three as well no I think no race two my dad had a bad cart as well I think he had the same cart as me and he said the same thing the steering was really tight on it the accelerator pedal was for some reason extremely loose so that kind of didn't help now um as you can see there me taking it really slow because I'm just trying to get used because I in race two I had a great cart cart number three for Daniel Ricardo and um, it was really good really good cart suited me really well and I had some good pace with it but I was going really slow this race um, because I just I couldn't do anything much because I, all everything I just learned in the two previous races 
has kind of all fallen apart because I have to relearn it because it's like a completely different driving style of car even though it's the same but it just feels completely different to the ones I would driven before so um, I am catching up to these guys however um, either I'm doing actually all right or they are slowing down a bit I think they were I think it was a tad bit of both but um, yeah it was it was hard to explain but um, yeah it didn't really help me too much so we are actually last uh, in position wise but we are currently P6 uh, uh, 5 sorry P5 uh, time wise so I was doing 55s this lap I believe would be like a 52 a 51 but I could not get into sub 50s anymore I was getting to sub 50s consistently last race not this race as we go up on the inside side by side getting a lovely late breaking overtake there if I do say so myself but um yeah it was interesting and this overtake was quite quite brave for me I guess I I was squeezed against the barrier I kind of just went around the inside of that person a bit rude really but um you know she gave me room and I I didn't hit the barrier so I was right next to the barrier getting that move done pretty risky but you know I just the laps were ticking on so I just had to get through some people get through some lap cars that's what you have to do unfortunately against some slow people you just have to get past them um, as quick as you can because they do hold you up so now we have some clean air and hopefully I can actually do stuff with it because we've had clean air for most of this race considering we started second last but um, yeah, as I said, the car just wasn't up to it. Uh, I was a bit um, annoyed as well to re uh, in this cart. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, and uh, at the time, my body started to feel it. You know, my back. Uh, in the second race, I actually got punted really heavily, and uh, my back is still quite sore after that. Uh, it didn't really uh, show up well on camera, but. Um, yeah, as I said, next time I'll bring a GoPro so you guys can see a bit better. But anyway, and we have three laps remaining. So, you know, really I just have to push as hard, hard as I can. My dad doing a 47.9. Now that is incredibly good from my, old, uh, from my old man there. Me not really doing much. 51.9 there. Uh, yeah, I'm about like three tenths, four tenths off dad. So not really doing well but um yeah now right here during the race my balaclava once again started to lift it wasn't as bad uh, as it was in race one but um it or oh, it felt it started to rise I could feel it on my left cheek luckily the race was almost over as we are actually starting to pick up the pace a little bit now just trying to find my rhythm of the cart unfortunately I did end up finding my rhythm but literally on the last lap so it wasn't you know it wasn't the absolute greatest time to find the rhythm Ryan but um you know it um it's the way it is you know, it's the way it races so you know it was great fun anyway the day was great racing in real life you guys certainly haven't seen anything of that from me so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video um, last lap I believe and yes it is so that lap was a what was it there it's a 51 5 so that's en that ended up being my best one certainly not as good as um, race 2 so race 2 was probably the best day the best race I should say um, to do so this guy just trying to fight for my position at the very end but the carts get slowed right now to come into the pits um, yeah so that was basically the day guys if you did enjoy please make sure you leave a like subscribe share with your friends if you think they'll like it and if you're Tasmanian head down to our uh, hyperdrive because it's a lot of fun pretty cool experience you don't have to be the best I'm not the best clearly but um yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Rhino Tuba, out.